Good morning! Welcome to uh, Snow Blizzard 2018. Uh, there's a lot of snow out there. Uh, I just got finished at the gym. Woo! Um, yeah, these uh, these um, high intensity high in, high intensity um, strength training routines are tough. Today was. Uh, six six little exercises for biceps and back it's weird i know i'm supposed to look at this camera right here but i keep looking at the screen and i feel like i'm looking cross-eyed sometimes when i look at the camera um yeah that's that's my weird little thing right now um yeah they uh they're they're a workout they <coughs> obviously um but uh, yeah, just the, the the lack of recovery time going back, um, it uses a pyramid system too. It's not like consistent, but like you know, uh, different exercises you'll do like uh, two sets of twelve, and then an eight, and like a six, and you know stuff like that. Um, and man, when you get that, when you get down to like the last the last rep on that last, well, sometimes even on the second last set, that last rep. Uh, you're starting to really feel it. Um, get the funny feeling. Uh, yeah. Um, I was not able to do my cardio today. Um, for people who know me, uh, you know that I've got this weird little foot problem um, that I've had since about 2009 right now, probably, probably even before, like 2006. That's when I sort of developed this thing. Um, say about Christ going on 12 years now. Um, it's a weird little problem that happens inside my foot. There's no one specific place that it happens. Sometimes it happens in the metatarsals of my foot. Sometimes I feel it in the back of my Achilles tendon. Sometimes I feel it in the front of my ankle. Um, it's just like a, an inflammation that just kind of starts anywhere in my foot. And presumably so far for almost no reason. Um, I I've been like self-diagnosing because I've seen I don't know how many doctors uh, over the t last 12 years um, who have all taken a stab at uh, trying to diagnose it uh, different things from plantar fasciitis to and all kinds of all kinds of stuff like I've had to buy super expensive Birkenstock clogs that were like um, ergonomically correct whatever the hell it's called for your feet um, that was supposed to fix it. That didn't do shit. It was just a really expensive, stupid clog that had no traction on it. And I almost died in the winter time a few years ago because uh, that was my shoe that I was wearing, and I wiped out an intersection, and a bus almost ran me over. Um, yeah, fun. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So I I got this thing with my foot, and I feel that we, we me and my wife we've kind of tracked it down to a few food things that <coughs> that seem to set me off. Um, legumes seem to be something uh, so I can't eat chickpeas because um, they definitely do it to me they create some sort of inflammation um, there is we think that it might be like a uric acid thing so purines um, so lots of protein can do it um, but the way that like I've been eating lots of protein for the last I don't know a couple of months but in just this week something's, something's up now I have changed a little, my diet a little bit I've been adding a lot more spice into what I've been eating because I've been kind of like making a sort of Indian food at home with all well, these, you know, Indian spices um, in, in my stuff. But the weird thing is, is like I've been eating turmeric, which is supposed to be an anti-inflammatory. Uh, and I, I'm not blaming on the turmeric at all whatsoever. I'm just saying the, the correlation is funny because I am... I am eating an anti-inflammatory for sure, uh, and yet my foot is starting to act up. So anyways, long story short, foot's been a real pain in the butt the last couple of days. Uh, it's it's tough to walk on, because um, like this time it's in my metatarsals. So I can stand, I can walk on the side of my foot, but if I try to do like a proper step and kind of push off my toes, I can't, I, I, I can't do this can't do this with my foot I can stand I can walk on it sideways but I can't bend here because the metatarsals 
hurt a lot. Um, so, solution for me is to uh, take some Advil and some Tylenol and hope that that helps. It usually helps, but I don't like taking I don't like taking a lot of Advil. But when my foot be hurting, I, uh, I gotta take it. So hopefully, hopefully by tomorrow it clears up and I don't gotta deal with this. Cause it's been uh, it's been a few months. Sometimes sometimes I can go like five six months without it, and other times I can be affected by it for a month at a time. Um, there's been periods in the last few years where I literally cannot walk for a week, where I'm bedridden. Um, it's funny watching a grown man have to crawl across his floor and uh, you know crawl from the bed across the apartment into the washroom and have to try to pee on his knees. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Um, yeah, that's everything for today. Uh, I had something I just lost. I didn't sleep much last night. I'm going to try to sleep tonight. That'll be good. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Take care.